Antti Ruskanin van Finland. You just had a qualification in the javelin and you threw the farthest throw. How far did you throw? It was 83.76, I think. People have been uh, t- testing now the new track. How was it for you? It was quite good. I changed my pikes and it works. But it's quite hard, but I think it's the same for everybody. In 2012, you won uh, bronze at the Olympic Games. How was that for you in your career? Yes, it was a big, big thing because it helped me to focus the next four years to, to Rio. And I hope I can take a gold medal over there. Today it was already a very far throw. Uh, in what kind of shape are you? I'm good shape, but uh, my season best is 85 and 20 something. So I hope I can throw in Sunday my season best. Do you have your eyes on the medal? Of course, because I won the bronze medal in London. So I think every year you have to keep a medal. So I hope I can get the medal in Sunday. What's it like uh, javelin throwing in Finland? I see a lot of javelin throwers already here, already two in the final, maybe three? Yeah, we have uh, quite many good throwers and every year we have difficult to get to the, champ- champ- uh, the European or World Championships or Olympics. So I was a uh, fourth time, uh, fourth guy in Finland. So 2009, it was my first first World Champions in Berlin and it's very hard <laughs> to be a thrower in Finland. What makes javelin throwing so so popular in Finland? We have uh, good coaches and good throwers. I think that is the main thing. I heard in in Finland the stadiums are full when there are throwing events. Yeah, it's Finnish. It's a Finnish crowd is uh, crazy. They they like to watch in javelin. Are there some Finnish uh, supporters here in in Zurich? Yeah, we have quite many Finnish over there. So it's helped me to throw better.